say he had nothing to do with. The crowns and the thorns many times was pushed in his head. His clothes ripped off. His old loincloth put on. And then he's beaten with 19 stripes. 39 stripes. Then he was taken off and he was drugged and pushed and pulled, carrying his cross until Simon of Serene come by and took it from him. And he bared the agony of the cross and carried it up to Galgotha. Where was all of his followers? Where were all those who were so excited over him when he came to town? All the little children, all the grown-ups, waving the palm branches, throwing their clothes over the donkey, wanting to be blessed. Where were they all at? When it comes time for the rubber to hit the road, people get gone. But those who truly love Jesus Christ will follow him when they realize what he went through for you. And who, who could even picture and imagine him hanging there on that cross, dying, suffocation, bleeding, with no clothes on, and what people that was around saw him, the Christ, with no dignity at all. But it didn't bother him. He knew it had to be done to bring you back to the Father. And the Father wants you to know today, the Lord God in heaven, that he tore that curtain in the temple open. And he's there anytime you want to walk in. He's there to meet you with open arms. Now one day, one day, Jesus is coming back. Whether I'm living, whether I'm not, I will get to see him. He will wake me up. I'm not. I'm dead. If I'm alive. I'll see him. But I'm not going to deny him three times that I was his friend. I'm not going to go sleep when he comes for three hours. I'm going to be rejoicing. I'm going to be shouting, Hosanna. Hosanna means, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I'm waiting for my Lord Jesus Christ to come back. And it could be before we live, walk out of this room. Who knows? All I want to do is ask, is there anybody in here have any doubt that you're not a born again Christian filled with the Holy Spirit? Is there any doubt at all? If it is, I want to pray with you. I hope I wasn't born in this message. I hope you got something out of this narration of these two books. Pray to God, touch your heart of what I had to say through Him, through Him through me, just to show how much He really loves you. And He always will. He always will. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day of your being resurrected from the dead. We thank you that the blood that you shed on the cross, as you said in your last word, it is finished. It was finished right there. Thank you that you love us and you care for us. For all those that are not here, Father, we pray for them. And for all that are in the hospital, the nursing homes, Father, you know all their situations. And you know exactly where they are and what bed they're in. You know every person and you see what every person does. Father, we thank you that we can just love you and go about our life living as your word says to live. It's not all the big fancy clothes we wear on the outside or the things we do in the works. It's about loving you and showing your love and showing it to other people. And then when we become to know you and be filled with your spirit, then it's time for us to start helping one another and working together. Thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And everybody said, Amen. Well, appreciate y'all coming down. I enjoy doing it. I just didn't like wearing this tie. <laughs> and this is probably the last time you go see it till next week. <laughs> but uh, it's about the children. I used to have to stay in one all the time when I was back to work in the doctor's office in the hospital so forth. About like 24 hours a day I got used to them. Now I don't wear them no more. They're choking me to death. Well thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Love each and every one of you. Y'all have a good day now.